Hi everyone, um, really cool news. I've always kept great numbers for my edge retention testing, but I've mainly just used them to form kind of inferences or opinions. I've actually had someone who is a relatively savvy mathematician look over these numbers. I sat down with him and explained to him what the angles meant, what the finishes meant, all that sort of thing. We're in search of like a unified theory, I suppose, about edge retention, something that was indisputable, that just cold hard mathematical logic could apply to. And the craziest thing was we found something. So drawing up a sum that looks really complicated to me, but relatively simple uh, to perhaps a mathematician, once you've inputted the basics of it, all you need to do is change the final number to what your specific result was, and you get a basic indisputable fact. And it's probably working its way through up on the screen here now, but as you can see, when you take it to the end stage, it's quite obvious that Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. Oh, hi there. So we are looking today at some Dozier D2. Now, Chris sent me this knife across some time ago. Uh, I've had to slow down the knife lab a whole bunch because my arm's just a bit shit. But feeling all right today. I've done a couple of others. So um, we're going to knock this one out. Uh, now, this knife came with a really disappointing factory edge. Um, you can probably put a still up. You can probably sort of just see it. it's a bit. It looks like it was done with a Tormek um, or a similar system to that. It looks like my Tormek edges when I first started using the Tormek. Um, just kind of a bit of an extra cut into the heel there and anyway um, what I'm certain of though is I'm, I would be very surprised if the steel wasn't heat treated correctly I think that's just a bit of a factory snafu from whoever was sharpening that day uh, the rest of the knife is certainly quite nicely put together so um, before you run out being too um, bothered about dozier I, I would uh, wait at least until you see the result of this test so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 17 degree polished edge on it I reckon I'm going to go to a 0.1 micron strop um, and we're going to see what uh, this still does when you really give it a red hot go. So uh, let's uh, see what uh, Dozier's D2 can do from his Arkansas plant. He's just known as a, a bit of a, a, a kind of a flagship D2 treater, you know, like a, it's, it's, his, it's his specialty, a bit like TM Hunt's 01. You know, when someone does the same steel a lot, they kind of get about ideal at it. So that's the, that's the law so far, L-O-R-E law so far. We'll see if the, the reality walks with that. Let's do it. I'm guessing the factory angle is about uh, probably 21 or 22 degrees or something. It's quite steep because I'm removing a fair amount of material from it. Um, it's a hard, it's a hard D2. I can feel that uh, just through the feedback of the 100 stone. So uh, could bode well for the edge retention. Let's uh, keep at it. Just let's change my battery. So I thought I'd stop and say hello. Knowing what I know about D2, I'm gonna actually test it at 600 first and then see if it does better when I take it to a hard polish after that. Because D2 is apparently a little bit more often people say it's better with a coarser finish. So 600 is not crazy coarse, but it's still better than uh, mirror polish, for example. So I'll uh, just get I'll just get the burr um, straight or gone, and uh, then I'll do a first test. I think we'll make it a double feature. How's that sound? Shop.
Uh, it's 220 so far. That's a different kind of edge testing. It's not, um, it's just the whole thing feels different and it's probably not as um, comparable as maybe even if I'd gone up to 1500. Uh, anyway, it was just a bit of a thought. So, um, still a good result, uh, 220, but um, yeah, just uh, real kind of, it's, you can just feel the teeth and it's still like, you could still really damage yourself if you slipped. It's still a really, really sharp knife. It's just, it's got a point of, for the usual test, it's got enough points that I would stop at. So that's why my test, I'm generally trying to prefer just staying with 17 degree polished, just because it eliminates kind of these what if kind of questions. But anyway, just for interest, I did 220 with the, um, the uh, 17 degree 600, 600 grit edge. going to repair the edge and also continue sharpening it just from the 600 stone that should be fine to get out whatever rolling or bearing uh, sorry rolling or um or uh, flattening has gone on the edge so so we'll just soldier through to a uh, to a fine uh, mirror polished now Alright, so from the sharpening bench, it's a hard seal, I can feel that, it feels harder than say some 1095 I've sharpened recently and some uh, uh, 80 CRV I've sharpened recently, it's a, um, uh, yeah, it's a different sort of beast altogether. Uh, I've got a really very sharp edge on it now, so that edge I had on it before, it was a real sort of toothy edge and sharp but in a different way, like and that might be the way that you prefer it and that may actually last longer against certain other types of materials but this is just like a properly fine little uh, whittling edge you can make like little hairs of the paper with it and all that sort of good stuff so we're going to use this cut rope with it until it no longer slices into a whole sheet of paper and that'll be the I guess the more comparable result to the other stuff that I do so let's get into it like I could do another 10 and it might go oh, do you know I'll do another 10 because it's still like seems like four out of five times it goes through yeah so 425 to 435 is how many times this knife cut through the rope and if I'm not mistaken, that's the best result for simple D2 I've had by a long shot. So you're thinking PSF 27 from Spyderco, which is a more um, fancy way of mixing it, a more even structure. That did, I think, 500 or so. So um, that is an excellent result for a simple tool steel like D2. So there's probably some truth to that, um, you know, um, smaller shop, um, higher attention to detail, more targeted heat treatment does seem to be really paying dividends here. So 425 to 435 for uh, Dozier's D2 and this little knife here, which once that factory edge was off, it actually turned out to be a really nice little blade. So there we go.